Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So, how are you doing? Hope everything is running smooth on your part. Today, we are going to discuss some word problems which involve the uses of fraction. Okay, so let us start. Students, to solve the word problems which involve the uses of fraction, we need to understand the basic concepts of fraction as well as the calculation of fraction. So, whosoever is new to my channel, they can go to my playlist of fraction and watch all the videos which include the basic concepts and the calculation part as well. Okay? So, now we are going to discuss some word problems. Okay? Students, the first question. Shivani read 25 pages of a book containing 100 pages. Nandini read 2 fifth of the same book. Who read less? Okay. Let us now discuss how to solve this question. Okay. Students, as per the given data of the question, Shivani read 25 pages of a book containing 100 pages. Fine. So, here the number of pages read by Shivani is given. Nandini read two fifth of the same book. That means we don't know how many pages did Nandini read out of 100 pages but it is given in a fractional form. So if we can find the number of pages that Nandini read we can compare between the number of pages read by Shivani and Nandini and then we can find who read the less. Okay. So how to find it? It is written that two fifth of the same book. So we can write that Nandini read 2 5 of 100 that is 2 5th into 100 so 5 20 40 so 40 pages how many pages did Nandini read? Nandini read 40 pages Shivani read 25 pages so who read less pages? Shivani read less pages because we have now the number of pages with us we can compare and give the answer. So finally, we can give the final answer that Shivani read less pages. As simple as that. You just need to write it like this. The solution for the word problem should always have the statements. These all are statements. This is first statement. This is second statement. This is the statement for the calculation part and this is the final statement. You need to follow these steps to get full marks in your examinations. Okay? Students, the second question. A farmer uses 4 out of 5 equal stripes of his land for wheat crop and 1 by 7 of his land for cereal crop. What fraction of his land is available for other crops? Okay, let us now solve this question. Students, as per the question, we have two given data. The farmer uses four out of five equal strips of his land for wheat crop. And the second one, one seventh of his land for cereal crop. Four out of five, that means four by five. This part of the land he uses for wheat crop and one seven of his land for cereal crop. So to find out the total part he uses we need to add this to value. So we need to write the statement for that. So we will write total parts used for crop is equal to 4 by 5 plus 1 by 7. LCM of 7 and 5, 35. 5, 7, 7, 4, 28. 7, 5, 5, 5, 5. So, 33 by 35. So, this is the part of the land that he uses for wheat crop and cereal crop in total. Okay, so now the question asks that 
what is the part that is left for other crops the farmer has used 33 by 35 parts so the whole we have already discussed that the whole is one so the remaining part that is available for other crops should be subtraction of this part out of one so we will now calculate it with a statement okay so we need to write that the remaining part is equal to whole that is 1 minus 33 by 35 that is used. So 35 is the LCM, 35 on the 35 minus 33. So 2 by 35. So 2 by 35 that means 2 part out of 35 parts because already 33 parts out of 35 parts of the field are used. So the remaining is Two parts so two parts out of 35 parts that means 2 by 35 is left for other crops this is the answer but we need to write the final statement okay so 2 by 35 part of the land is left for other crops with this your solution ends you have to write the final statement okay hope you understand students the next question in an orchard 1 by 5 are orange trees 3 by 13 are mango trees and the rest are banana trees if the banana trees are 148 in number find the total number of trees in the orchard so let us now discuss the solution for this question okay students as per the given data in an orchard 1 5 are orange tree 3 by 13 are mango trees rest are banana trees banana trees are 148 in number students you need to understand one thing here there are two fractions and a whole number that is 148 generally what students do they treat these three values similarly but it is a wrong process because this is a whole number and these two are fractions which are a part of the whole so we do not know actually the whole the number of trees total number of trees in an orchard is whole you need to understand that these two are just the fractional value of that whole which is the total number of trees. So, we need to find out either the values for these fractions or we can find the fractional value of the given whole number that is 148. Then only we can calculate. But as we don't have the total number of trees, we cannot find out the values for this fraction. But we can find the fractional value of this whole number 148. So, how to go about? Let's discuss. So, we'll write total number of orange and mango trees is equal to 1 by 5 plus 3 by 13. So, 65 is your LCM 13 plus 15 that is 28 by 65. Students, the fractional value of total number of orange trees and mango trees is found to be 28 by 65. Just remember that the C is not the number. It is the fractional value which is out of a whole. Here whole is the number of total orchard trees which we do not know. So we cannot find out the total number of orange trees and mango trees. We have a fractional value for those. Okay. So the remaining are banana trees. So what to do for the remaining part? We need to subtract this fraction out of 1 to find the fractional value of the given number of banana trees which is 148. So let us now do it. So we will write Fractional value of banana 
trees is equal to 1 minus 28 by 65 that is equal to 65 minus 28 by 65 or it gives us 37 by 65. So 37 by 65 is the fractional value of banana trees. That means if we divide the number of trees into 65 parts and we take out 37 parts, that 37 parts is nothing but it covered with banana trees. Okay. So as per the question, 37 by 65 has the value 148 because it is given in the question that there are 148 banana trees. So by comparing this fraction with the whole number that is given for this, we can find out the total number of trees. Okay, let us now do it. So we will write as per the question 37 by 65 is equal to 148. You need to understand that this is the fractional value of the given number of banana trees. These are the actual number of banana trees. So this is nothing but 37 by 65 of the whole. That is the total number of trees in that orchard. So how to find the whole? So total number of trees is equal to you just need to divide 148 with 37 by 65. So 148 divided by 37 by 65 that is 148 into 65 by 37. So 37, 4 are 148, 4 5 are 20, 4 6 are 24 plus 2, 26. So 260 is actually the total number of trees in that orchard out of which 37 by 65 part is 148. So 148 banana trees. But the solution of the question has not ended yet because as I have already told you, we need to give the final statement. The total number of trees in the orchard is 260 and with this we end the solution okay hope you understand students the next question mr verma gave one third of his money to his son one fifth of his money to his daughter and the remaining to his wife if his wife gets 20,000 rupees, then what was the total amount Mr. Verma had initially? Okay, so let us solve this question. Okay, students, as per the given data, Mr. Verma gave one third of his money to son, one fifth of his money to daughter, remaining to wife. Wife gets rupees 20,000. Again, as we have discussed in the previous question, this is the actual amount wife gets, but these all are the fraction of the whole amount. So we need to find out a fraction for this value so that we can find out the money which the Verma had initially, that is the whole amount. Okay, so now we will proceed to find the fractional value of this amount. Okay, so we will write money given to son and daughter is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 that is 8 by 15. Okay. This is the fractional value of the money given to son and daughter. So remaining is equal to 1 minus 8 by 15 that is 15 minus 8 by 15 or 7 by 15. So 7 by 15 is nothing but the fractional value of the amount that is given to mother. So now we will compare and find out the 
whole amount that is the money Mr. Verma initially had. Okay, we will write ask for the question 7 by 15 is equal to 28,000. That means 1 is equal to 28,000 into 15 by 7. So that is 4,000. 60,000. So this is the actual amount Mr. Verma initially had. So now we are going to write the final statement that is Mr. Verma had rupees 60,000 initially. That means he had 60,000 rupees with him. He gave one third of that amount to son one five of that amount to daughter and remaining to his wife. So now this is the end of the solution. Let us do one thing. Let us verify whether this answer is correct or not. I am just going to tell you how to verify. Okay. So students as per our solution total is equal to 60,000 rupees 60,000 one third of 60,000 that is 1 by 3 into 60,000 that is 20,000 rupees 20,000 son gets rupees 20,000 1 5 of 60,000 to daughter so 1 by 5 into 60,000 so rupees 12,000 to daughter so what is the total amount? Total 20,000 plus 12,000 that is 32,000. So rupees 32,000 was given to son and daughter. Okay. So remaining is equal to rupees 60,000 minus rupees 32. Thousand that is rupees twenty eight thousand, which was given in the question. That rupees twenty eight thousand was given to his wife. Hope you understand, students. Today we have discussed some word problems of fraction. Okay. Hope you have understood everything clearly. If not, please watch the video again. Go through the word problems again. Go through the steps and just understand how to write the word problems okay then you need to solve the word problems given in your math books if you have some doubts please mail me to the mail id that is given on your screen okay i definitely clear all your doubts through mail okay whosoever is new to my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay. Students, revise everything that you study. Keep practicing because practice makes a mind perfect. Okay. Enjoy your life and keep smiling.